So in this video, we're going to be covering some modeling on how we modeled this sci-fi miner. We're also going to be look at texturing very quickly, very simply, and also rigging this uh, mining setup. So come on, like and subscribe, come join the journey. So what I reckon we might do is create a kind of piece that sits like that, comes down and under, but then also a plate that sits there that's kind of like a support piece. And then we'll have this on either side. And I reckon that should be okay. So how are we going to do that? Let's just block it out as always, just to make sure we get the right shapes and such. Cool, I like that. Over into modifiers, go add modifier, generate, solidify modifier. I've got the wrong thing selected. Just going to make that zero. And then let's go add modifier, generate mirror modifier. And so this is kind of like the idea of where the mining laser is going to sit. Um, I reckon we could probably edit this a little bit more. Let's go GG. And then maybe what we can do is just make it look a little bit prettier, I reckon. Select. Let's select this. I'm going to do I to do an inset. So we have that. And I'm going to add some extra geometry. Selecting two vertices, press J and J. And that kind of makes a cut. Let's put one down there as well. And so now if we go in, ah, oh, geez. Now, if we come in and select all this, we can press I to do another inset and I again, because I kind of want these triangles, delete faces. And that kind of gives us that, that's not too bad. Let's just readjust this piece. And that doesn't look too bad. I'm actually really happy with that. Let's go ahead and make the mining laser now. Block it out is the idea. And I reckon we might lift it up bring it forward. And then this kind of gives the driver or minor operator full access. So this is kind of like my thought process in how I'm designing it to still be sci fi, but still be practical, going to extrude it out completely. I want to get the bottom vertice up here into proportional editing, I want to go linear, and then we'll turn proportional editing on. So when I pull this back, Hopefully it's semi straight, not really. So let's do it a different way. I'm going to press K for the knife tool and A and C enter. So now it's sliced all the way through. Let's press V to rip, separate that, delete vertices, and then press F. So the reason why I did that is I want this to be almost like a little bit of a cover that sits on the front. And so then if we go I to do an inset, we can go E to extrude, make sure it's along the Y axis. And that gives us this nice hole. Let's do control B to do a bevel, two spots. Nice. So it looks like we've got a nice big shielding in here. And I think that works really, really well. Now we'll probably rig this as well. And the idea is here, there'll be a bone. And that is the pivot for forward. And then the bottom piece here is what's going to give it its rotation. I think that's probably the best way to go. Now I did see a cool image of something that looked like this. Let's go E to extrude along the Y axis. And then in here, we can fill it with some sort of uh, components. Even that looks like okay, but I do want something in there. Oh, actually, maybe the way this is designed is that this is the suction part that connects into our containers down here. I like that. It's a good idea. Um, the actual laser itself, let's do that. It looks really weird with this angle, but let's kind of bring that in. I, E, oh man, this perspective is really stuffing me up. Just a simple few extrudes, few insets. I like it. I reckon what we might do here is let's put an edge loop through there. I'm going to put a few rings in there. Let's grab these pieces, E to extrude, and then put it back with a right click, Alt S. And then we kind of have this uh, almost like a grill, 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 energy cooling. Sure, let's go with that. Let's just add in a little bit more decoration, something like this. Let's grab that back face, G to the Y. Nice. Maybe we'll just pull this back ever so slightly. Awesome. Now, the big problem that obviously you guys might see already is that 
all that this chap will see is this giant cylinder at the front, but doesn't actually get to see the laser itself, which is semi okay. Because once we start kind of like aiming, you know, red laser beam will come flying out. And I think we might be able to, might be okay with that. Let's throw on a bit of a, a little bit more greebling underneath. And so this can be almost like the power section, just a bit of a battery or such, or something containing the energy to run this weapon. Something very basic. So when we go ahead and UV unwrap that, it's going to be nice and easy. Yeah, that looks pretty suave. I do feel that we should almost have like a panel up the top here. So if we were to grab that, I'm going to do I, I'm going to press I to do an inset. Oops. And then let's put an edge loop through this section and one more through there. Let's do an Alt S to scale in on the normals. And so now that's just given us a little bit of details in there. I'm going to leave it as that. I reckon we could probably could have done it with a decal, but that's okay. I'm going to press V to rip. Then that way I can do one more little groove in there. Alt S, bring that in. That's, that looks nice. Um, pivot wise. Where are we going to go? Let's just go ahead and attach cylinder. There we go. Scale it on the X axis and we'll bring that back to sit about there. I think that's probably a good distance. And then from here, we need to build a U shape rig that'll attach to our structural base down here. Let's just quickly throw a bevel on that. Nice. We'll start off with a cube. Just move it up. There we go. That's looking good. This is a good starting point right here. And we have to remember that this plate here takes the weight of the mining laser. So we are going to make it a little bit thicker. Let's go add modify, generate mirror modify so we can see what we're doing. And I'm going to turn on clipping as well. There we go. I'll bring that down. E to extrude on the X, delete faces. And then from here, we should be able to grab this out, move this down. And then this just makes that plate a little bit bigger. Now, since the rotation plate of this is going to be here, this is not going to work. So we actually got to move this back because as soon as it points down, it's going to hit this. Let's maybe just overcome it with, you know, grabbing that and we'll just bring it down because you have to remember that this is only rotating this way, but back here with this selected shift D. Let's go E to extrude E to extrude edge loop through there and we'll move this back and then we can push this all the way to this section in here that actually that line there lines up quite nicely and this is looking really good separating those two pieces we've got a bit of rotation as well let's just decorate this up a smidgen scale that on the y-axis just to make this a little bit more believable shift s curse the selection and then I'm going to add in a bit of a pin through here. And that's almost like our rotation point. And so we are now at a point where we've built, built something quite nice. With that, we've technically done a lot of the work. So let's just start parenting items to each other. So we're going to select these pieces and this piece underneath. Beautiful. Select this pin last. Control P, parent to object. So this will allow me to do the up and down these pieces here are simply pinned to this piece control p parent to object and so now when we wrote so now when we rotate z on there look at that awesome now because the intention is to get this into unreal engine i'm not going to worry about attaching cables in here that could be a future thing but we'll work that out at a later stage but this is looking great now i do want to texture this so I think this orange laser should be the same color as this. Um, so let's start that process. We're going to go into material and into UV editing. We'll select our main body first. This is going to be uh, SC orange. Select all that. U. Smart UV project. Okay. Kind of works okay. Not really. So we might have to manually UV unwrap this one, which is going to be fairly straightforward. Actually, you know what? I think that's okay. Could probably just move some of these pieces around just so they're not in this kind of like a low poly area. I really want this piece here sorted. So let's select all that, that piece there. Nice. Um, I want this one to kind of be a dark color. What's this one here? 
SC panels 04. Beautiful. Let's go tab U, U, Smart UV project, whatevs. This here can be the orange as well. I do like that UV unwrapping as is. These places here, do we have like a bit of a black color? What's that? SE panels four. Sure, 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 sure. Copy materials are selected. Beautiful. I might make that one green as well because I can. Now we can see here we've got kind of like this stretching even on this piece here. But that's probably hasn't been UV unwrapped yet. So if we select that, I'm going to apply the solidify modifier. And now if we go U, let's go U cubic projection. And then we can kind of just start lining that up where we need it to go. Rotate 90. Now I do have a longer tutorial on all this UV unwrapping. I'll put a link in the description if you want to go watch that one. And that was all about how we UV unwrapped this. This. Now the cool thing is, is we don't really have to use bones. We can use bones, um, but we could probably just use constraints. If we go over into Unreal Engine, which we probably will, we'll, we'll have to, uh, let's just do bones. So what we're gonna do first is we need to create the center bone, so the master bone. So I'm going to select this armature and we'll go single bone. Let's lie that down through here. I wanna make sure that it's sitting on Z is zero. There we go. Now the first place we want a bone is probably gonna be this point here, but directly down. So let's go Shift S cursor selected, select our bone, and I'm gonna go into edit mode, Shift A, and that's gonna create this bone here. So we bring this bone down, and this is gonna be that first rotation point. I want the head here to be the rotation point of it horizontally. So Shift S selection to cursor, and then we go E to extrude along the Y axis. Now, so you're not punching yourself in the head later, let's actually give these bones a name. So bone, this is going to be root bone. Oh, let's just call it root. Let's go mining one. And this one here is going to be mining two. With the bones, we need to make sure that we set this is the child of the main bone. So let's come over into our bones and relations and our parent bone is going to be the root. And so that is, if we were to move uh, in pose mode, this bone, it all moves, which is very important. Now, as you just saw, nothing was attached to the bone. We actually have to select everything that doesn't have an attachment to the, uh, to the, ma uh, to the root bone. But for now, we're just gonna focus on this setup here. So this, 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 well actually let's select everything that needs to be parented to a bone. I think that's all our pieces, G. Yep, and we've got a cylinder down here. I'm gonna select our armature last. Let's go P, sorry, let's go Control P, parent to object with empty groups. We didn't need to parent that one, but that's fine. So this bone here, if we go into vertex groups and we go into mining one, tab into edit mode and assign, I'm gonna press hide. That doesn't matter, that one doesn't matter. We wanna grab these two, these three pieces, four pieces, and do this individually, I'm pretty sure. I have to do, let's select one, mining root. Oh, you donkey, wrong way around. Alt H, bring this piece back. Move, mining two, mining one, assign, U become mining two, U become mining two, and the laser, assign, and this bottom piece, assign. So that means now when we go into select our bones, and we go object pose mode, we've got this bone in here, so I can go rotate on the Z axis and it follows, and then we've got this bone in here, and you can see how we can rotate it. Now, it is rotating, every which way, which is not exactly what we want. I'm gonna change the rotation from the QWERTY to XYZ. It's just gonna make our life easier a little bit later. And we'll do it for both bones, XYZ. Because what we can do now is I can go rotate Z. So this is only rotating on the Z axis, well, actually the Y axis. So let's lock everything else. So even though I press R, nothing happens. And then we'll select this one. This one is gonna be rotate, rotating on the Y axis. Nope, rotating on the X axis. Excellent, so let's lock, 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 
And so that is only going to be moving up and down. And so there you have it. We can now animate a mining drill on the front of our ship. <laughs>